welcome. Today I want to share with you all my recipe for curry duck. Now I already have a curry duck recipe on my channel and that was when I first started out my channel so I wanted to update the recipe for you guys. So the other things you'll need for to season the duck, you'll need salt and black pepper, some green seasoning and when I'm making the green seasoning I like to make it like more like a marinade so that it can soak into the meat properly rather than just make a dry seasoning blend. I will also leave the link for this green seasoning at the end of this video. This seasoning I'm using is especially for curried meats. You'll need onions, tomatoes, garlic, some all-purpose seasoning and some complete seasoning. So I'm going to start by putting in some salt and not too much because the all-purpose and the complete seasoning would have salt and some black pepper to taste. Add in the all-purpose seasoning. And a complete seasoning, chopped tomatoes, garlic, the green seasoning, and the chopped onions. Mix in everything to combine. Once everything has been mixed in, you're going to cover this and marinate in your refrigerator minimum one hour. Okay, now we're going to move on, on to cooking the duck. And here I have some sliced onions, hot peppers, or you can use pimento peppers. I have some fresh curry leaves, and if you can't find fresh curry leaves, that's okay. Some cumin seeds and some meaty seeds. Meaty or fenugreek seeds, as it's called. And in this bowl, I have my curry powder. I have two types. I have the duck and goat curry powder, the regular curry powder, madras, some jeera, some amchar masala, and some saffron or turmeric. We're going to start by putting up a pot to heat up and add some oil to that pot. Now you want your heat to be on medium or medium low when you're toasting your spices. So I have mine on five. I'm going to add in the seeds to the oil and let that start to toast. You're going to let these toast until they start to darken in color. When the seeds start to darken, you're going to put in your onion, your pepper, and your curry, curry leaves. And you want to be very careful because this tends to splatter quite a bit. Now you're going to let these saute in here until that onion turns a golden brown color. Okay, see that beautiful brown color that the onion has? Now you're going to add in the curry powder, the blend. And you're going to lower your heat to low and you're going to let this toast here on low. After about one minute of toasting on low, you're going to add some water to have the curry cook. If it thickens up really quickly like this, just add some more because you want this curry to cook for like at least two minutes before we put in that duck. When the curry starts to thicken up like this after about two minutes, you're going to add in that duck. You just want to crank your heat up to very, very high, the highest it can go. And what we're going to do is allow this... um curry and this duck to bungee down in here which simply means this is going to cook until all the liquid in there dries out before we add any additional liquid to help this cook. Now if you live out here in the US and you can't find one of these traditional Trinidadian ducks I suggest that this is where you would cover down your duck and let it take its time and cook because the meat is not going to take very long to cook. You would not need any additional water. You'll just need what you have in the pot to help your meat cook. It's going to cook like in 15 minutes for you because I've done it and the meat is so tender. It doesn't need extra time or extra water to help it cook. So guys, the duck has bunged down in here and all the liquid has dried out. I'm going to add enough hot water now to cover this duck. Okay, once you've put in the water, enough water to cover the duck completely, you're going to drop your heat back to medium because remember you had it on high. And you're going to allow this to cook until the sauce thickens up and the meat is soft and tender or to your liking. 
Okay, guys, you see how that sauce in there has thickened up? This is how I want my duck. I want it with some sauce. So I'm going to take this off the heat. Now, if you were making this for cutters, you would want to dry this down even further. So, at this point, it's finished. You want to taste it. Make sure your meat is also tender or to your likeness, as I said. Taste it with salt, adjust your salt accordingly, and then this is ready to be served. So guys, here you have it, my curry duck recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed today's dish. It's very tasty and very delicious. Make sure and use the green seasoning for curry dishes. Um, it makes such a huge difference. So thank you all for watching. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you remember to like and subscribe. Thank you all and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!